Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day. So today I'm doing a bit of a random video. I actually had a different one planned and I've, I was sort of trying to execute it today and it just wasn't working. I was trying to kind of show my process of going digital for 2020, but it just wasn't really translating, I don't think, to a good video. So I think I'm gonna make it a blog post. I'm gonna get all sorted and then I'm just gonna show you all the tools, the digital tools that I'm using to stay organized for 2020 um, and all the resources that I use to kind of learn how to do it because I've been a true analog, you know, bullet journal lover for many years. Um, but yeah, that video just wasn't working out. So I thought I would change tact. I really need a video to go up in two days time. So I thought I'd move one that I had planned to do later a little bit earlier. So this video is kind of a small declutter and collection video of my jewelry. I just was looking at my collection recently. I have quite a small jewelry collection and I was looking at it and things were starting to get a bit messy. There's definitely a lot of pieces in there that I'm just not wearing and I'd rather pass on to the charity shop. The great thing about jewelry is that like, you know, it doesn't expire or anything. It can just get a little bit worn out, but I definitely have some nice pieces that I can easily pass on either to friends or yeah, donate. But I don't think it'll be like a massive savage declutter or anything because I just don't tend to keep what I think is a ton of jewelry. I don't know, I see some people's jewelry collections online and they've got so much. I just have like one little container as well as like a little mini tray and stuff. So yeah, you'll see in a second. But I just was like, I feel like I really need to do this anyway for myself and I thought I might as well film it for those of you that enjoy declutters and for those of you that love the jewelry that I wear. I'm obviously not wearing any right now, I guess apart from my glasses, if you count them, they're not really jewelry, but I think of them as an accessory. Um, they are real glasses, by the way. I have quite a weak but necessary prescription, but I know for some of you, you love the jewelry I often wear, especially like my dangly earrings and stuff, so you might want to have a wee look through. And I'll have links to all the products that I can, if they're still available, in the description. There's a couple of really great stores that I go back to again and again for jewelry. And if you are new here, hello, my name is Anna. I'm a lifestyle and beauty online content creator. I have a blog now, which is very exciting. It's just launched. It's lifebyannaelaine.com. So I'll have a link to that in the description as well and if you want to interact with me throughout the week in between my videos you can just pop over to my Instagram or Twitter. I've also reactivated my Facebook page and I also have a Pinterest now as well so you can follow me on those platforms. Alrighty so this is the extent of my jewellery um, and sort of accessories. So I got this little container from Muji. It has like a flip top opening lid but also a drawer. To be honest I find it kind of annoying I, because sometimes if I pull the drawer out you'll see accidentally forgetting that this is a lid and I'll have things sitting on top and then they'll all fly off so I don't love this design I kind of wish it was just a tray rather than a flippy lid but um, it is kind of nice sort of small size and I love that I can kind of see into it really easily and this tends to keep more of my jewelry that I'm not wearing on a daily basis it's sort of more like special pieces or things that I'm just not reaching for as often then this little tray I'll just <laughs> pour all of my jewellery off. This little cute tray is from H&M Home. They sadly, they won't have it in stock anymore because I got this a long time ago. But they often do cute little like jewellery trays and stuff there. I absolutely love it. I just think it's so beautiful. You guys know I love gold and I just think this is so nice. And it's a great size too. Um, sometimes I'll like style my sort of set up by having it on top and other times I just sit it next to it. Um, I've been keeping my glasses and sunglasses on top of this in my current sort of situation which at the end I'll show you guys how I set up like where in my room that I set up my jewellery. Um, but yeah, so pretty. And then I also have this little guy. I got gifted this from um, Alex's mum as a gift. It's so cute. So this holds just my rings and every day I pull that off. All five of them slap them on. <laughs> Um, so we'll go through that at the end because they are not pieces that you can really buy in stores. Alrighty, so I'm going to quickly sort of empty out all of this and categorize things so we can go through the pieces one by one. Let's start with larger dangly earrings. <laughs> probably one of my favorite categories. It's probably the category I've got the most of, most variation. So probably my favorite ones that I have in my collection are these little ones. I got these in February, I think it was, from Anna Luisa. I did some sponsored work for them and I got to pick these out and I have absolutely loved them. Like I've worn these to death. 
and I just think they're amazing. Like they're really unique. People always ask me all the time where they're from um, and they're made of really nice metal so they don't irritate my ears and stuff and they're just really really lovely so i can wear these quite often um i'm actually thinking i might go get a cloth to clean my jewelry while i'm at it because that makes sense give everything a bit of a clean up while we're here so with dangly earrings especially i tend to get foundation all over them but these ones are absolutely beautiful they just got such a cool pattern to them so i'm definitely keeping those i also really love these ones they're like little tortoiseshell monstera leaf earrings uh, and these are from a brand called thai Gelf. i have a couple of pairs from them they're a melbourne based um, brand and they have a stall at the St Kilda markets every Sunday or most Sundays so you can actually go and look at them in person and pick them out that's where I buy them from or you can use their online store as well they're really gorgeous I love those I have a few pairs from them like these ones these are extremely similar but they're obviously a um, sort of jade color um, I don't love these ones as much because I don't like this bit so I'm actually thinking what I might do is DIY these I'm going to pull apart the links and just get rid of this gold bit here and just make them like the same sort of size as these ones so essentially just yeah get rid of that gold link because I just find them a little bit too long and a bit I don't know they're just a bit too much so I'll pull those apart and get rid of that and that way I'll get a bit more life out of them because I'm just not really reaching for them right now then I also have these ones these are probably my least favorite ones that I've picked up from Thai Gelf just I don't know for some reason they're, they're really beautiful but I just don't reach for them. I think it's just the shape, the sort of hexagonal shape. I don't know. Okay, so I think I might donate these ones because I've hardly worn them and yeah, I just, whenever I reach for them, I'm reaching for them because I feel like I should be wearing them rather than actually wanting to wear them. And I think I might even go and pick up some more from the brand, but in this sort of color, but with a better shape, just a shape that I prefer, maybe circles or the leaf pattern. I just don't like the hexagonal. And I have these leaf earrings which I got from a store in Emporium in Melbourne. So these are from Pigeonhole. I really love these. These are my first like leaf earrings I ever got but they are starting to like discolor around the sides. Do you see that how it wears off? Because they're not a very expensive metal. I actually kind of like it though in a, in a sense it gives it more character. Very wubby subby. Um, but yeah they're very cute. Um, so I'm going to hold on to those. I got sent these recently from a subscriber. They're so cute. They're like little sunflower studs. Um, Tammy, I know you'll be watching this because you watch every one of my videos, which is so lovely. Um, feel free to put in the comments where you bought these from because I'm sure a lot of you guys will be keen because they're so beautiful and I have no idea. So somewhere in Canada, but Tammy will let you know in the comments. <laughs> Stay tuned. And then I also have these little like cha-cha earrings. These were a big rage for a while and I actually still really like them. I'm pleased I bought black ones because these look really cool with like if I'm performing. But yeah, they're cute. Little cha-cha ones. I think these are from like La Visa, but you can buy those pretty much anywhere. I'll link something similar if I can't find the exact ones. These ones were beautiful little earrings that were made for me by a subscriber and another creator here on YouTube. Liana from Chronically Chic. Yeah, she made these for me about a year ago, I think, and they're so beautiful. I think they're Swarovskis, uh, which is super nice, and I love them. They're so pretty. These earrings I got a long time ago uh, from La Visa. I doubt that I still have them in stock, but again, I'll link something really, really similar if I can find it. Um, but they're so beautiful. Um, they're really lightweight chandelier earrings. So they're not like super heavy like some of them can be, um, but they are just beautiful when I want to look extra glam, really nice for like a Christmas party or something. Don't reach for them often, but when I do, I love them. These earrings must be like close to 30 years old um, because they were in my mom's collection when I was like as early as I can remember essentially. Um, but they're just little like black droplet earrings and they're quite cool because like you can't really get anything like this I don't think these days I've never really seen anything um, but they're, they're quite cute I don't wear them that often as I say but because they were my mum's they're quite special so I'm gonna hold on to those these are like little heartbeat earrings and the girl that was selling them in New Zealand I believe she was a suicide survivor and she raises money by selling these earrings for um, mental health so I thought that was really cool. So I bought a pair. They're not really me. <laughs> They're not something I would typically wear. So, um, I was happy to buy them just to support the charity and that. But I think I might donate these because they're pretty funky. I know some someone would really love them, but like I, um, yeah, they're not really for me. So I will donate those. Alrighty, so then we have like studs and smaller earrings. So these little hoops here are from 
Ana Luisa and they are my most worn sort of everyday earrings. They're just little gold sleepers and I love them because they're comfortable to wear like especially if I'm wearing headphones and stuff. Um, they don't irritate my ears so I can wear them every single day and I can wear them days and days in a row and they're really comfortable. I love the simplicity of them and just how they're a nice piece of fine jewellery so definitely keeping those um, and I'll also definitely keep these little earrings these are from Naked Pearls Melbourne and these are really beautiful little real pearl earrings um, again I'll link those below but they're another one that I can wear every day because they're really good quality these earrings I wear a lot in videos and stuff and you guys are often commenting on them they, they are just some costume jewelry earrings from Love Easter that I got a while back they're very sort of vintage I absolutely love them I often wear them performing in that as well not you know fantastic quality metal so not really an everyday earring and I, I don't know I used to wear these sorts of things all the time like um, super glam earrings on the daily but yeah really beautiful special earrings I don't think you could get these anymore so I'll still I'll try and find something similar in fact these ones are kind of the same sort of thing however um, I never wear these ones like I always reach for these ones over these I don't think these ones are as special looking as these so I think I might donate these ones I'm also going to keep these ones these are like little Swarovski ones I think from Love Easter like one of their more premium collection ones I can't remember if it's Swarovski's or yeah what kind of crystal it is they're about $40 a pair so they're not like super cheap but they're like not expensive either I use them often in performing as well and they really catch the light like these are the kind of earrings that at the back of the concert hall you'll just see this little glimmer from my ears they're really beautiful but I do also wear them in day-to-day -day life because they're not too big either these little ones are actually ones I never wear but they were my grandma's they're actually like um, screw-ons which is a real old method of wearing earrings you used to screw them on like this so they're kind of like clip-ons but with a screw mechanism so you don't need to have your ears pierced um, pretty cool and I just think they're so beautiful um, the stones in them are really unique and they look really vintage um, these will be a piece that I keep for for ages I just don't really wear them because I don't find this mechanism that comfortable um, but they're very pretty so they're staying in my like special collection but these ones definitely can go because these are just some cheap ones that like I've got other earrings I'd rather wear studs so I don't need those but these two these are ones both gifted to me by Alex and I find it really hard um, because you know he likes to buy me gifts occasionally he doesn't buy me jewelry very often um, and they're always really nice pieces but sometimes they're I don't know not necessarily ones that I would wear these ones are like little sort of spiky little studs to be honest these are probably just a little bit too yellow for me they're quite like yellow gold um, and I find that that super yellow gold just isn't as flattering on me as like a slightly softer gold um, you can see the difference with something like the Ana Luisa one it's a little bit more I don't know it's just less brassy um, so I can wear gold but it has to be quite a sort of soft gold nothing too yellow and these are just way too warm toned so I am going to pass those ones on these ones are pretty cute they're like a little kind of stud I might keep these in case I want to wear like a really bold necklace or something and I just need something really teeny tiny in my ears um, just to fill the holes really but they're really they are really cute I just don't reach for them or wear them very often then we have bracelets so I don't have too many bracelets um yeah I've sort of I'm pretty picky this one is my grandma's so this is a really special like proper piece of jewelry definitely won't get rid of this it's got like the little clasp it has a really really beautiful sort of inlay on it it's so nice um, and it also has like a little dent on the back which supposedly is where my auntie bit it as a child <laughs> like she was like a young toddler and she like bit into the bracelet and put a dent into it which I think is quite funny um, oh there's another dent there I hope I didn't do that yeah so it's actually got a real story so this bracelet is probably about uh, 60 years old which is pretty cool so absolutely definitely keeping that and this again it's a little bit more of an antique gold I can kind of get away with it whereas like this bracelet which I got from um, the peach box I got a while back I loved the pattern of it so much but this one you can see it's like a lot more sort of sort of yellowy gold it's really quite a bit more brassy I think I'll pass that one on this little wee guy this was gifted to me by a subscriber it's like a little um sunflower charm <laughs> you guys are so cute um I'm thinking of maybe putting this on like a chain or something I think the yellow is like cute obviously it's like a sunflower but um I feel like I don't wear it that often because of the rope color uh yellow isn't the most 
attractive color on my skin tone um so i'm thinking of like i'm gonna i'm gonna find like a little silver bracelet like a really dainty chain or something and put this on it because i love the charm uh when my dog died uh last year last may you guys were so sweet i got so many cards and beautiful little like gifts and stuff it was just you didn't have to do that but i did find it very like it was very special so thank you um but one of the things I got was this gorgeous little bracelet. And do you see how it's got like Heidi's name? And it's got like a little paw print. And then inside it says, once by my side, forever in my heart. And it's so cute. Um, yeah, it's just like a really special piece. So definitely keeping that. I've got these three bracelets here. This one is a sort of cheaper you know sort of jewelry costume jewelry sort of thing from love Easter as well it's on elastic but i actually think it's really pretty it's quite sort of vintage looking i don't wear it that often but usually for like performing or a special occasion like if it's if i'm going to some sort of pretty event or something so it is very gorgeous so i'm definitely going to keep that one but with these two i think i'm going to get rid of this one this is a true like proper rose gold color um and i don't typically wear a lot of rose gold jewelry anymore usually if i do it's something that's a bit more like this kind of one where it's like yeah sort of somewhere between rose gold and real gold um but yeah it's very pretty but it was just cheap like i think i bought this myself from like love Easter or something so i can donate that one um, and i'll also donate this as well as you can see it's very like mangled this is from the peach box it's actually really pretty on but i find it hard to keep it a nice shape like you've obviously got to bend it open to put it on and then it sort of gets this weird sort of loop down here i don't know <laughs> see if i can reshape it nicely but yeah it's very pretty but um i don't really reach for it right next we have necklaces so let's start with the elephant in the room <laughs> this giant thing do you guys remember oh it's so heavy do you guys remember when these big chunky necklaces were like a thing oh this is from me piace um i think me piace still does jewelry um but it was from when i used to work there it's a shoe shop shoe and bag shop um oh my gosh <laughs> it's so heavy but i remember when these big chunky necklaces were like a real thing um they might come back in fashion but this is actually a really nice piece of jewelry it's all gold plated this is the kind of rose gold that i quite like where it's like a little bit more sort of antique looking like less pink um it's very cool i know it is a bit like intense looking these big chains but um i don't know i don't really want to get rid of it i don't really wear it but i, I swear this sort of thing will come back in fashion I don't know, maybe I should bring it back myself. It's pretty cool. Makes a real statement, like on top of just like a little black dress or something. So yeah, I'll keep that over there. Um, this little guy, oh, I love this. I got this little one at Copenhagen in Denmark. So this is like a little Viking boat ship. And I've just got it on a leather strap at the moment. I was planning to put it on like a sort of antique gold chain or something as well um, but i haven't really gotten around to it i do kind of like the leather strap now it's really grown on me um but yeah it's so cool i don't think i have any scandinavian in my bloodline but i just feel very connected to denmark for some weird reason perhaps it's just the spelling of my name it's a scandinavian spelling a-r-n-a -A. maybe that's why <laughs> I just feel very very connected maybe i was a viking in my past life this little one this is my tiffany and co heart necklace i bought this for myself just because i really wanted it <laughs> it was like a gift to me from me it's just their classic little heart i love this i don't wear it as often these days for a while i was wearing it nearly like every single day um it's very beautiful dainty but definitely keeping that this little guy oh this is funny this was a necklace that alex bought me when we were about 16 so we've been dating or we've been together since we were 15 got married at 21 we're 28 now yes it's a sick love story we'll talk about that another time high school sweethearts but yeah literally he bought me this little heart necklace when i was about 16 um and it is absolutely gorgeous it was for christmas or my birthday or something it's by the brand pilgrim i don't even know if they still make jewelry it's from new zealand probably from Valentine's, i imagine um it's not really something i would typically wear that often now maybe i'll just wear it just for the sentimental factor it's not really my style um, but funny because I would wear this Tiffany one I guess just because it's a little bit more like simple this was like definitely the sort of thing I was into at that time so I absolutely loved it um, but I will never get rid of this just because it means so much to me like it was really special so yeah gonna keep that this little necklace is a little rose gold pendant that I got from hope for the children so it just says hope on it they got it engraved um, and this was yeah for the work that we did last year they were just so 
amazed by how much money we managed to raise for the charity so yeah they got me this really cute little necklace as a little thank you and um, this one I think I'll let go of again this is the sort of matching um, necklace to that bracelet from the peach box that I had um, I love the Roman numeral kind of design of it it's just that when I chose it I didn't think it was going to be quite as yellow so that's the only thing it just doesn't match my skin tone or someone with a warmer deeper skin tone this would look absolutely amazing but yeah not for me this is just a random little pendant of something from Kiki K. <laughs> I think it was on a keychain or something. It just says inhale, exhale and I loved that. So I've saved this pendant for so long hoping to put it on like a necklace. I just haven't gotten around to getting a little gold chain for it so I need to. Um, but it's just so cute. Like I just think that's really nice. Then I have this little uh, pendant as well. This is like a little crystal ball. There's a little hole through it where there used to be this like, it's really hard to describe it. It was like a rubbery kind of clear strap so like the leather strap I have in my other necklace but it was clear rubber um, and I loved wearing this it was very dainty this was actually what I wore on my wedding day is like my wedding necklace this plus the little earrings that matched um, the earrings really deteriorated over time because I wore them all the time they were kind of like they were about the size of these little pearl stud earrings but covered in the jewels I absolutely loved them uh, but they got just yeah really worn out over time um, given to me by my grandma actually this set and then then the strap on this just got really discolored and it looked really bad so I've always held on to this little you know um, pendant um, just because it is like a little memory from my wedding but hopefully one day I can get a new strap or a new chain or something to put on it. But I think I'll pass on this. This was gifted to me in PR. I honestly can't even remember what the brand was that gifted it to me, which is really sad. But I don't know. It wasn't really my cup of tea in the end. It's a little too dainty. Like, I like fine dainty jewellery, but there's something about it that was just a bit too plain. So I, it's not my cup of tea. I'm going to pass that one on. Let's go through my watches. So I have four watches here, which I just don't even really wear watches anymore. Uh, we're through a real phase of wearing them all the time. But the ones I've got, I've got this little one by Mark Bale. Came with a red strap option as well, but the red strap's definitely not me, so I don't have that anymore. Uh, but I do like the plain black with silver. It's pretty. Um, this is one that I got from Clues. I really liked this one but you can see how well worn and loved like the strap is and even the actual face itself is pretty well loved and worn and there's even a scratch on it but I'm thinking I might even order a new strap for it because this is probably out of all my watches this is probably my favorite one um, it's just that I don't wear it much now because it's looking pretty tired so I think I might have to order a new strap and um, this one from Mark Bale I'm gonna pass on because again as much as I loved loved the Roman numerals and this is what that bracelet where is it um the idea was that you could wear like these two together like how cool does that look looks awesome but yeah it's just too yellow gold for me I prefer um this kind of gold from clues where it's just it's not as yellow it's like a little bit more sort of slightly rosy gold but not super rose gold I don't know it's hard to describe but this just is too too brassy so I'm gonna pass that one on I did love the black face though I thought they looked cool um, and then this little one is from the brand movement um, I liked the color of the strap on this one a lot but this this is too rose gold <laughs> I'm so fussy guys I'm so fussy so the difference between these two you can see like this is just like straight up copper Whereas this is like a slightly rosy gold, but it's still gold, and that's what I like. Um, this is very pretty, but I think I'm gonna pass that one on because I just don't need. I think I'd rather just keep like two watches, like that's heaps to play with. Don't really need this one. Um, and then I do have a spare silver strap as well for this one, this Mark Bell watch. So you can easily switch out for like a silver chain link watch as well. So I'll keep that because I like both. And then just one last thing that was in the box. Um, firstly, I have these. These are not actually earrings or any kind of real jewellery. They're actually pins. And the idea, they're like a little matching set of two. They're so cute. I got these from YesStyle. And the idea is that they go on the corners of your shirt collars. So they're like collar decorations. And I just think that is so cute. Problem is, uh, I realise I don't have any shirts with a kind of sharp collar. <laughs> So I don't really have a use for them yet, but I'm going to hold on to them because they're really cool. I might, I might just not store them with my jewellery. I might put them with, um, I don't know, somewhere else. We'll see. And then I have this, which is a, um, it's actually a belt. 
so this is what I use to go around some of my performance dresses. Oh, it's really tangled. Hold up. Yeah, so this is a belt. It's a really beautiful, beautiful kind of like vintage style. It's from Forever New. They often have things like this in store. And I put this around the center, you know, around my waist of um, my ball gowns and stuff that I use for performing. Oh, this one's lost a stone. That's a shame. Probably won't really notice from stage. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hold on to it, but I'm going to move it out of my collection because it was taking up way too much room in that little box. And I'll just go put it over with my gowns. It's just about to pack up and then I realized I hadn't talked about these guys, my rings. So these are my five rings that I pretty much wear on the daily. Um, one of them is my engagement ring, this little guy. So Alex bought this from Michael Hill jeweler about, oh gosh, when did we get engaged? Would have been nine years ago. <laughs> so yeah, doubt you could get it still, but uh, we'll have a little look for you. It's very cute, it's a little rosette. And then this is my wedding band, which a lot of people think is quite funny because yes, it is a bow ring. At the time, I was like obsessed with the Stolen Girlfriends Club bow ring. I really wanted one, but the gold one was like two and a half thousand dollars or something crazy. And I was like, well, I can't afford it. So I commissioned this from a local jeweler who made it for like 600 bucks for me. And it's nine karat gold and it's really beautiful. And it actually sits perfectly like with my engagement ring. They sort of slot together really nicely. So yeah, that's my wedding and engagement rings. And then these three rings that I often wear that you guys really love, these are vintage rings from my grandma. Uh, my grandma is still alive, but every time I see her, she gives me a new ring. She, it's, it's like she's just making sure that I get my um, inheritance essentially from her <laughs> in advance. So this is probably my favorite ring that she's given me. It's like an opal, but a really deep, beautiful opal. I don't know if you can see the pattern. Let me get even closer. Hopefully that will show you. It's a really beautiful vintage setting um, with that sort of antique gold with leaves and it's just so nice. I absolutely love this ring. Um, this is the one I actually wear on my proper wedding ring finger mainly because it's quite like a good size so I find that it doesn't move around um, and I can play violin in it okay. I do take it off to perform because I don't want to run the risk of it moving but you know where if I'm just practicing and stuff, I keep it on. Um, I know a lot of people find it funny that I tend to wear my wedding ring and stuff on this hand, which is like the opposite hand, or it's the kind of European side. Um, and that is because these rings, like I just found them too uncomfortable to play in on this side. And I want to be able to wear my rings and stuff when I'm even when I'm performing. So I just keep it on the side. This is my bow arm. And then this one is just yeah a little costume ring that I can take on and off on this hand. Um, and then I have this ring, which I tend to wear mainly on this finger, my middle finger. Um, and this is just a ring that my grandma gave me that's just really pretty. It is missing a stone, a diamond in the third one along. You can see there's like a kind of little hole behind there. It's very hard to see. But um, yeah, there is a wee missing stone in there, but it's quite minimal. I still think it's beautiful. Wabi sabi. <laughs> Gotta look at the beauty and the imperfection. And then this one is quite funny because my grandma gave this to me and was like, I hate this ring, do you want it? <laughs> it's a very 80s kind of setting. Like it's really, really high, very like Princess Diana sort of style. Um, it is actually a sapphire, but it's a very, very dark black sapphire. So it's not a very expensive one because the less sort of blue a sapphire gets, the less expensive it is. So it looks blue in some lights, but it also looks black in others. And it's got two diamonds on either side. I still think it's beautiful. Um, yeah, I still like it. It's just a little bit vintage, like, you know, knuckle duster. <laughs> right, so those are all the pieces that I am keeping. And then these are the pieces that I'm going to donate and find a new home for. Next to my bed is where I have my makeup collection. And so on top of there is where I am store my jewelry. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, in the bottom drawer here, I've got um, mostly like my earrings, a few of the smaller necklaces at the back. And in this drawer, I've got wrist wear. <laughs> so watches and stuff at the front, some bracelets, as well as that big chunky necklace that didn't really fit below. Um, and then on top, I always keep my sunglasses. And then normally at night time, my specs just sit in front of there like that. And then over here, um, underneath the mirror, I've just got my perfume. The one that I'm using at the moment, so this is the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. Um, not much longer to go on that one, it's really getting down. Uh, I've got some brushes back there, which they just look pretty, so I've just put them there. But yeah, and my little ring holder with my rings on it. And then in here, this is, as I say, where I tend to throw my sort of most worn jewellery. So I've just put a couple of my favourite pieces in there. 
yeah, so that is my little jewellery setup underneath my fern. Very pretty. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit different, but if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me. If you are new here and you've watched the whole video, thank you so much. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. I do make lots of videos on beauty and lifestyle topics. And of course, check out my website, it's just lifebyanaelaine.com, where I have lots of different blog posts on beauty and lifestyle topics as well. Head on over to my socials, I've got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, and we can interact throughout the week. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days. Thank you for watching, and we'll chat soon. Bye!